Hi friends, this is Mahinder. In this session, we will learn how to create in Selenium test scripts using C Sharp programming language with the help of in Visual Studio and N Unit framework. So first, let's go what is Selenium. Selenium is one of the most important testing tool because it supports multiple languages like Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, Perl, and many more and uh, it been used to create an automation scripts using various for various browsers like uh, google chrome firefox safari and many more so in this session i will let you know how to create a selenium using n unit in visual studio so for that one first we need uh, first you need to open in visual studio 2022 which i have shown you how to download in the last session and now let's create a new project with n unit so to create a new project just click on create new project and you can once it has been done now we need to select the n unit framework over here just click on n unit and type enter and give some project name like selenium test and you can give the solution name as well and I have selected the .NET framework as 6.0 and just clicking on create so it will create an n unit project once everything is been done so you can see the project is creating and within that project you will find multiple dependencies so I will let you know one by one once this project has created Once the project has been created, you can able to see a test.cs as in class and the namespace of uh, selenium test1 as in project name and public class with the name test. And under that, you can see n attributes like setup and uh, n test attribute. So this is something which is inbuilt features which is provided by the end unit. And in the right side of my screen, if you go to dependencies, you can able to see multiple packages. As I have created an n unit project, so n unit dependencies will all be came over here. And and for that one, so this is how we can able to create the new project. Now I will explain you how to add the Selenium jar files to Selenium jar files or .NET files into the VSTS just right click on this package and click on the manage new get packages and once that is done just go to the browser and select selenium and type enter and we need selenium web driver and just click on install in the same way we need the selenium support and selenium web chrome driver also so for that one just accept this one and you can click like don't show this message again and just click on ok So you can see in tick mark over here that means it been installed and you can able to see in the dependencies also and in the same way do it for the selenium support just click on install and in the same way click on the selenium web driver too and you can see that uh, latest version is six one point uh, 116.0 point something so in the same way the google chrome version should be the same so 
so let me first install this one and we'll let you know how to check that one in the google flow So you can able to see I have mm, I have added three new packages like Selenium support, Selenium web driver, and Selenium web driver dot Chrome driver by using any new guide. So now let's go to the test project. Within that, you can able to create the classes and all. Now let's create a class. To create a class. Just right click on the project name and click on add and click on create or else you can directly click on class. And you can give the class name as well. We are just testing so I am giving the test. So once that is done you, you will find in class like this. Hi friends, so let, now let's create a Selenium with C Sharp project and for that one let's open a browser and uh, give the Google Chrome URL and uh, search for something and close the browser. Okay, now let's go. Now let's create an iWeb driver interface and for that one let's create an object and where do you like to launch in a Chrome browser. Now let's give new Chrome driver and now now we have created an object of an iweb driver which is in part of an selenium.qa and uh, whereas the chrome driver is a part of an selenium.chrome now let's launch driver driver dot navigate dot go to url dot go to url where do you like to go to google chrome so right uh, just open the google chrome what do you need www dot google dot com ok just click on this and what do we need to do cop what what are you thinking to do so just we need to go to the google chrome and search for like tech trend and click on the google search and close the browser okay so this is what we are going to do so for that one let's go this will this what will do what will this do this will open the browser and will search for google chrome and after going to the google chrome what do we need to do After going to Google Chrome, how to inspect the element, just right click on it and click the inspect button and click on this element and search for the value where you want to send the value and I am just clicking on this text box and I will find the distinct value of this text box and nothing but in Q, okay, as a name and I will go to the Visual Studio, driver dot find element where by dot we are giving name so type name what is that name q i have already copied in my clipboard and pasting over here so that is in text box so in text box we are going to give the value how to give the value by send key okay within send key give some value like tick trend and close it and what do we need to do we need to click on the google search button so for that one we need to get the button name so what is the button name button name is btnk 
now let's just copy and, and go to the driver and visual studio and driver dot find demand by dot what is element we are taking name so what is the name of name of that element bt and k so i have already copied into my clipboard let's close it and this, as the, this isn't done what do we need to do on the button we need to click so just click and give the semicolon and so let's wait for few seconds see whether it is king or not okay for that one what do we need to do thread dot sleep okay let's wait for 5 seconds to see whether it is clicking on okay and let's give some 1 second over here after write something so whether that writing is done or not it will valid okay and after that let's close the driver or close the browser driver dot quit okay and this will close the browser okay so this is all the scenario which we have thought of doing it so how now let's see how to run how to run it just right click on this and click on run test and this will build the solution and trigger that one and this will open the browser first okay let's wait for a few seconds it will do everything Will have started. Now see browser has been open and search for the Google browser and search the tech trend and click on the Google search button and this will close the browser. And we are good to go. And you can able to see test has been passed. Thank you.